Hey guys, welcome to our review of Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes of the Crystal, Crystal Skull, Skull of the, the thing of the Kingdom of. The, okay, <laughs> anyways, uh, this is like the shit. I think like. 10th uh, film in the Planet of the Apes franchise. This is a franchise that, boy, somehow is really standing the test of time, I guess. Uh, first started back in the 70s, Charlton Heston. 60s. 60s, rather. Wow, yeah, yeah that's right. Let us let me go through them. So you're looking at uh, Planet of the Apes, 1968. Mm -hmm. Then you got Beneath the Planet of the Apes, 1970. Escape from the Planet of the Apes, 1971. Conquest of the Planet of the Apes, 1972. Battle for the Planet of the Apes, 1973. And yeah. And then there was a TV series that got 14 episodes. And then there was also a cartoon in which got uh, 13 episodes. So this is definitely a crazy ass. And a Marky Mark. Movie. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah we he just, just found a Marky, Marky Mark, Mark one from Mark 2001. Mark there was a Tim Burton remake with Helen Bohemia yeah. Carter well, I saw that Bohemia. one it was yeah. creepy and I didn't like it this like that <laughs> I never knew about it I was like yeah, oh wow it's, uh, and then of course recently uh, we had uh, uh, Andy Serkis, uh, who did uh, help to, uh, you know, he's got the kind of the face behind the new trilogy with Caesar, uh, Rise of the Planet of the Apes, 2011, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, 2014, and War for the Planet of the Apes, 2017. I saw all of them and I enjoyed them, but I don't remember much from them. No. Did watch did them. Uh, Alex didn't see them at all. I saw the first one with Franco. Yeah. And that was yeah. oh, that's right, yeah, yeah, and that was that was so the only... quite a few films in this series, uh, and in fact, uh, Alamo uh, Lake Line, which is where we saw this, their whole like theater inside is themed after Planet of the Apes. Yeah. I thought that they would go bigger for a film like this, but I guess even they are kind of tired of yeah. doing that. <laughs> they do have some shaker cups uh, that you can get, oh. um, not shaker cups, but uh, little uh, pint cups that, that you can get. Yeah. But anyway. Anyways, uh, so uh, let's uh, talk about the film and and what we thought of it. Let's uh, I guess start. Let's start with Alex. Uh, it's it's good, but uh, I think there's a lot to enjoy for an hour and a half long movie. I think it could have been really solid. The promise this movies is, two, is like, two hours, it's like nine minutes. hours long, and it nine is hours. just it is motherfuckers walking, <laughs> and they're on a horse, and then they're walking some more, and then on a horse, and out of nowhere. Uh, this like this, they, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of crazy the way that things, uh, we'll talk more about kind of the jokey bits and, and spoilers, I guess. Um, there's some really solid stuff. I think that some of the voice actors absolutely killed it. There was yeah. one character that showed up for almost a too short of a period of time. Rocker. I absolutely. I know what you're talking about oh, yeah. because I love this character. Yeah, oh, Rocker, right? Yeah. 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 Did you love Rocker? I, yeah. Instantly. Like, I, I was just like, Rocker. oh, I was like, Rocker. oh, man. He's the is... uh, orangutan, yeah. orange orangutan you see in the trailer. Yeah. yeah. So, like, um, I think it overstayed its welcome a little bit. I think it's uh, way slower than I thought it was going to be. Um, it's it, it's a solid. It's fine. It, it's not a movie that I, I'm giving like super high praise for. I didn't hate my time there, so it's just it was a movie. That's, yeah, it's interesting that that's feedback from Alex because he didn't even see Rise, Dawn, and War, <laughs> which uh, had you know ramped up the action, tried yeah. to top e each other, and this one kind of goes back to that. Oh, it's you know yeah. Because before he's we started picking up yeah, on it, before we started filming, I was talking to Alex, and I was just like, man, it just seemed like they're like riding horses the whole fucking yeah. time. It kind of reminded me of, like the Fellowship of the Rings, where there's just trekking and trekking and journeying, mm -hmm. and then like there's like small bits of like oh that's fucking yeah. cool man that's yeah. cool i was like i wanted more of that me mm -hmm. too and that's kind of what you get in those other films i think the idea of this one the 2024 is intended as a new trilogy yeah. so there's lots and lots of times to set up the character now the characters now, I actually like these characters. So I like Noah, who mm -hmm. is kind of our new Caesar. There's mentions to Caesar, the past uh, uh, monkey and ape that kind of yeah. help uh, fashion the, the uh -huh. franchise. 
And then there's uh, Raka, who I liked. I even like Proxima uh, as, as a villain in his big uh, gorilla uh, enforcer. There's tension every time that gorilla. Man, gorillas are fucking scary. Scare, yeah, like, yeah. Especially when they have like, the, like the war paint on, you're like, oh, my God. I think like, the sound yeah. design in this film really helps it. Uh, there's, you know, you feel the whole theater rumbling when this yeah. motherfucking gorilla's coming straight at you. And they're like mannerisms and they're like, mm -hmm. the, like the, you know, like the ape and gorilla, like, you know. Animations. The, bo the body language yeah. is really good. Yes. I would say the, uh, what do you call it, uh, CGI is ultra realistic. Uh, you know, it looks great. Um, I, I especially was impressed of how much water is used and then water touching the fur of the apes and then it looking realistically yeah. matted. But, you know, you we've already kind of been a little bit impressed with that in Avatar and Way of the Water and stuff. But it is equally impressive here. Uh, May, uh, let's see, there's a character in here, uh, the female character, uh, she's Freya, it's played by Freya Allen. Yeah, I've never um, heard of her. And yeah, she's she was series. from the Witcher series. Oh, she's uh, yeah, okay, Siri okay, from okay, the Witcher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess this is her breakout role in, in, in films now. Uh, I liked her a little less. She's fine. Uh, I do find it more intriguing the ideas uh, that are set up that she sort of represents humanity and Noah is representing uh, ape kind, apes strong together, and we need to figure out can apes and humans live uh, side by Sorry. side. So the film spends plenty of time setting that up. <laughs> I think what kind of slows it down is I agree with Alex is a little overly long. What do you think, uh, uh, Patrick? How'd you like the film? Yeah, I mean, like, like y'all were saying, it is it is drawn out a bit, and you're like, and then like there's like callbacks to like the like how everything started, and like we don't really get a real timeline on mm -hmm. how long ago this many movie. generations. Yeah, that's what it is. Many generations. I think the film starts with is that Caesar? I think getting a, a, a burial. That's what I, guess I so. yeah yeah. And it's that, just been so long, I don't remember. Yeah. yeah. And that's the thing is like, and then like they're talking about like the sickness and all that mm -hmm. stuff. I'm assuming they're setting that up for the future, story. future mm -hmm. stuff. And that's kind of what this movie was, was like a setup. The, yeah. The setup to everything. And it just seemed a bit drawn out. I wish there was some more action. I really liked, like the monkey on monkey, like fights. With, yeah. Yeah. fights. When they're there, <laughs> they're brutal. They're, yeah. they're fast. They're furious. Terrifying. The way they move looks great. Yeah. And, and it would have been nice to give more, but a lot of I schematics I, and like, I if you've seen a lot of the Planet of the Apes film, this film is not going to really do anything new for you. So I think it retreads a lot of the same ideas. And frankly, it is the 10th film in the series, so it's kind of hard for it not to. You have to really push the envelope in certain areas. And this film does not push the envelope. It's a pretty standard story about power and control and can you live together with some you how know, humans in, in are harmony. the real monsters in the end. Yeah, well, no, also how <laughs> apes can also be horrific and right, monsters yeah, in the yeah. end about control. So I like that. But it feels like they're retreading ground and then maybe setting up some interesting things. Like, okay, here's your refresher, everybody. You know, after 2017, which isn't really all that long ago, yeah. but this is the Bro, refresher. COVID Think of hit, it like, though, in 2017. Our, like, whole world changed. COVID years. Yeah. Or don't Go 2020, right? Yeah. yeah. So I think they, they <laughs> this was, like, basically the Force Awakens because uh, they want to do a trilogy here. Yeah. Force Awakens where they retread the ground. They kind of have the same familiar ideas but not quite as good as some of the originals and times that we saw it. However, I still think it's solid. I still think with the uh, the cast, uh, the voice actors, um, the graphics, and the overall storytelling here, it did enough to invest me. I will say that, you know, I like the world building. I like, you know, the potential of the universe and getting back into the kingdom of the planet of the apes. And I do want to see where they go with it. It seems like they're kind of teasing at something that just might be, um, you know, allegory. It might be actually, you know, uh, eventually taking the series into space. I don't know. Maybe I'm picking up some things <laughs> wrong, but uh, it, it is interesting, and I'm curious to see where they go with it next. I think the film did enough to where, all right, 
I'll be open to see the trailer of the next one to decide whether I want to buy a ticket. Should you go out and see this in theaters? Uh, man, I don't know. But what do you think? Man, I haven't decided yet. I'm, I'm waiting for it. To, I'd wait for it to come on stream. Mm, kind of. Yeah. This would be like something that I'd play while I'm like playing like you know a game or something. You'd in the miss nothing. Too. Yeah. yeah, you'd have a like, second on a second <laughs> stream, yeah. and it's kind of you know yeah. like. And then you look over and see some cool monkey fights, and then <laughs> and then you look back over and see him riding a fucking horse, and then you look back over see a waterfall or some shit, and then yeah. look back over. And that was see a baseball fight. stadium! Yeah. Wow. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah I, I think I think uh, unless you're a big fan of apes, gorillas, orangutans, the 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 culture, the 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 CGI, and and the technology behind these films, and you're already invested in some nine other films, and you like that. You definitely go out and see it. If you're on the edge and you're not into, you know, apes and monkeys and all this stuff, then you could definitely wait. Um, so let's go into final verdicts. Uh, you want to go? I'm at a seven out of ten. Okay. It was. It had enough, like you said, it had enough like setting up potential to mm -hmm. where I could see, like the especially how it ended, like definitely like being a little bit more exciting. Um, but I just wish yeah. there was a little bit more action. Right. And they, there's all this potential in that third act when you see uh, there's there's a little there's a little bit of what do you call it? A mystery box yeah. in, in, towards yeah, the yeah, end. Yeah. And when the mystery box like is over, you're like, yeah. oh, this has great potential. Yeah. But then it's kind of wrapped up and we don't really Real get quick to, too, we like, don't get to mess around with the yeah. mystery box. And I'm curious to mess around with the mystery box. So, so that's why I'm going to say on 10 because yeah. I feel like it has the potential, you mm -hmm. know. Yeah, I think this movie is really shallow. I think it's it's a little shallow in the character development outside of Noah, which I think they did a really good job with him and his family. Um, the characters that I also liked, we only get for a short, short period of time. Rock they intro they yeah. introduced some interesting things that are just would, would be a joy to sit around and drink some beers and, and like discuss like just philosophy questions. And they're presented, and then we just kind of gloss over them. It's something that we can think about later, but it's like that's the kind of stuff that I – you're showing me that you have the ability to do these things, but we didn't dive into any of them. So we don't really dive into the action. We don't really dive. I mean, we get we get shown a lot of the yeah. world, mm -hmm. but I would love to it's see like what more of these, these troops. Level. Yeah, these. I want to see what these troops and these different clans and how they're potentially interacting. And so everything, this is a setup mm -hmm. movie of a trilogy, and it kind of feels like the setup movie of a trilogy. <laughs> and I think it's just... Yeah, I, I wish away. Yeah. yeah, and so it's like, I wish we had done... If we were going to spend two and a half hours, do more. Mm -hmm. Let's dive into some of these cool concepts. Let's, or dive into the action. Or really dive into these characters and chew on some of the stuff that's yeah. here. But if you're going to give me two and a half hours, you got to do more than walk. So I'm going to go with seven <laughs> out of ten. Seven? Yeah. Oh, I'm surprised. So I'm between six and seven. Okay. okay. Um, you know, mainly because I have, you know, seen a lot of the other films. I've seen a lot of these ideas. I don't know if that's fair to this film. It's like, because it does borrow a lot, but you can yeah. say, well, the bar, what they're trying to do is they're trying to pay homage. Yeah. They're trying to include elements. Yeah. And is, is it as effective as, as, you know, some of the philosophy in the 70s ones were actually more effective? Some of the action in the, in the 2010s ones were more effective, but solid CGI, impressive looking, you know, stuff, great voice acting. So I'm between a six and a seven and hmm, I'm going to get, I'm going to get, uh, because I am excited about the potential, I will end up also seven out of yeah. 10. So seven out of tens across the board nice. and let's jump into a spoiler. So there you go. Seven out of 10. And we're like, mm, maybe wait on this instead <laughs> of seven out of 10, go and see it in theaters. Yeah. How about that? All right. So, uh, <laughs> and that's all depending the sequel that he want are these, uh, Disney reported Disney and 20th Century Fox plan for it to be the first of a new trilogy, a planet of the apes film. Um, but confirm this in December 2023, explaining the film had been conceived as the beginning, and it also fits in the legacy of the previous three. So it's not a reboot. It's actually kind of a part of the previous three. It's just kind of generations removed, yeah. and we're restarting. But you have to be profitable. So let's see how much it makes. The budget on this one, $165 million. I think they spent that budget way more effectively than, say, Red Notice, The Rock and Ryan Reynolds on Netflix. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's kind of impressive for that. But the ad, the ad budget for this is 
probably absurd. I've seen nonstop ads in, I mean, YouTube, Reddit, everywhere. Yeah. So like, so they're probably a little more than that. Yeah. Then, so we'll see uh, how well it does. It's it's projected at eighty ninety million. Uh, so we'll see. That's from both uh, here and overseas this, together. This series does really, really well internationally. Like it mm, kills interesting. overseas. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Join us in the spoiler section. Hey, welcome to the spoiler section. It was I- New York the entire time. <laughs> Charlton uh, Heston goes and says, ah, ah, Why are there zebras in New York? Dirty ape. Why is there zebras no! in New York? Yeah. And the, the statue. statue. <laughs> okay, so there's no statue of liberty. Yeah, we yeah, didn't get the callback of the statue. No, there's no. There is a callback to you, damn dirty humans, yeah. instead of damn they dirty They did have, ape. like, the little scarecrows, the, like, the, the, yeah, the, on the bridge. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so I think that the third movie in this trilogy will be Planet of the Apes, where spa- they I like come this back. theory. So, so explain this to us. If, for those who don't remember Charlton Heston's one. In 1968, he was, yeah. Charlton Heston and the astronauts go off into space. They do you know stasis thing, faster than light, and then they crash, and they don't know where the hell they are. I right. think they think they're somewhere else. And then they're on this planet, and they're like, oh, we don't know what's going to happen. And they're a bunch of apes, and then you know they... The, the, the movie, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. He realized yeah. it was Earth the entire time, and they've yeah. been stasis long enough for a massive. So, yeah. But so the reason he couldn't how... talk, uh, sorry, the yeah. reason he couldn't talk uh, in the movies though is because he was injured, mm. right? Oh, it, yeah. right. So they so thought that he was, was ta- uh, He couldn't talk like the rest of the yeah. humans that yeah, couldn't yeah, yeah. talk. So, okay, he, yeah. got it. So, but at the they do make several uh, allusions to looking into space, looking at the stars. There's a telescope, and yeah. you can see the reflection in his eyes, and just his fucking mind and hearts lights up with the potential, and, and it's you know soulful. And then the human uh, that he's annoyed with this whole time, this May character who they call Nova because the orangutan was like, yeah, yeah. we just call him, we all which call is him like Nova. a throwback it's a Caesar to, thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's and a, it's because a, Caesar it's had some some. What was that starship? Called? Called that. I forgot. Um, and I, so I was thinking, oh shit, it's gonna be like fucking Fast and the Furious. We going into apes space, in space, apes in space, Planet uh, of the Apes in space. But no, I think uh, you know. So how could it come around, Alex? So you're saying the remnants of the humans that are found here at the end of this film, which is. It's never known where this Freya Allen, uh, she, the character she plays, where she comes from. We just know that uh, the new Caesar, Proxima, had killed her group of humans. And they were going to a vault to get something. Yeah, I mean, we could have a Mars colony that lost connection with Earth during the war. And they mm. don't know anything that's happened. And they yeah. finally come back. And then they, you know, things are mm. Or apish. they make, they make because mm. the original ship was called Icarus. So it they is. do an Icarus... <gasps> 2.0 ship mm. and they launched themselves they launched Icarus yeah 2.0 then, to yeah, like yeah. I don't know if that's gonna happen <laughs> I was intrigued by it but now that we're explaining it I'm not sure You're like, I don't know if that works damn I was hoping it would work no but it, maybe who knows there's two more films I just think that there's going to be a massive war so at the end it's revealed what is in the vault uh, Patrick nothing Dude, of importance it was fucking tanks though man tanks you, and fucking you lock guns yourself, you fu- like first of all they they had a whole fucking like castle like mm-hmm. the apes or the gorillas had a whole castle built up around this fucking mm-hmm. door but no one was like oh maybe we should walk around it thank see, you I was like find Huge a more plot hole make a wondering. more creative way to get in. oh an air vent so he wanted to get in this thing so bad and he was searching far and wide for how Blowing to get shit in up and, and he never thought to check. Around it. <laughs> Not only did so he, you just got to scale a wall, and I think it's actually in front. I God, don't even think it was it's annoying the fuck out of me when that happened. Well, I was like, you could be like, "Oh, he's a stupid atheist." No, he's got William H Macy telling him all the secrets right. of the fucking universe, <laughs> yeah. and William H yeah. Macy would be like, "Oh, there's." Ventilation shaft right there, buddy. Like, yeah, okay. it's not even close. You just walk in. Like, but to be fair, <laughs> here, Joe, Joe is on vacation. In case you didn't know, yeah. I'm confused. Vacation Patrick, OJ right here. Vacation <laughs> OJ. Uh, but to be fair, maybe Gacy was like, "Oh, if I told him that, then I wouldn't be useful no more." Yeah. No, because he would help him with all the technology in there. Yeah. Yeah. The other thing that's in there, besides weapons and and tanks and shit, is a data drive. And apparently this data drive can help the humans reverse. Is that what they're implying? Help the humans 
No, I think they needed it in order to communicate with yeah. other humans but that, is that are hiding. But equipment still working? With, exactly. Those like, satellites. Yeah, <laughs> so they're shown at the end. She goes back to a human colony, and this human lady pops out, and she's, like, all scared because like she doesn't suit. want, like, I guess. The, the well, disease. then why are some people... So people are naturally immune. Naturally she immune. Okay, because yeah. I was like, I don't understand the virus. The virus, and this was from the previous Bruce three films. Movies, the films, yeah. the virus makes apes smarter, but does it also make humans dumber? I forgot that element. I it's think it does to, make it's humans dumber. supposed to dumber. make them not speak or... Right, uh, be a little vocal. Yeah, yeah, like, vocal, turn them into yeah. animals. Like, or, be, like, primitive. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, well, in that case, then maybe there was also data in there, not just to link up with the uh, the satellite and, and put out communications, but maybe reverse the uh, or try to cure the virus, which I guess they tried to do in the other film. So I'm not really sure how even smaller human enclaves would be able to do it. So it's Freya specifically says she needs it so that humans can speak again. Yeah. Is kind of how she said it. Yeah. And I, I guess she meant but to speak with each other. Yeah, communicate. Again. Uh, so like not across. not necessarily vocalize yeah, yeah, yeah. again. They're going to have to find a way around that or just continue doing scientific shit. To, to actually, they want to reach out. Yeah. Which uh, they, they got a connection. I mean, they I did guess. at the end of the film. <laughs> it was uh, like right away. They're like, hello, hello. She, so the, uh, the vault finally opens and uh, he... I don't understand this. Uh, why did they expect uh, him not to be there? Yeah. When they open the vault, like, just, <laughs> everybody's right there. You see, the Proxima is going to be like, what the fuck? It's the vault just opened. I'm, I'm going to walk right over there with my soldiers. <laughs> Fucking but the movie rumbling. presents it like, what? <laughs> like, how you were there the whole time? <laughs> but we knew that we were there the whole time. And I was thinking, oh, shit, are they going to pull some crazy shit? Like, there's three apes. There, You know, you got um, Noah. You got a Anya, uh, who was a, a friend or yeah, a brother, yeah. uh, male. And then you got a female, which is kind of the love interest. At first, I thought they were sister Why and brother. Why do you need a love interest? It didn't, it's it didn't, like, it's it, the chemistry so wasn't there, level, really. It's a setup for the second and third movie. <laughs> exactly. Uh. The love story. So, But uh. I thought maybe, oh, shit, he betrayed them. And, and they'll do that. Or maybe even fucking May was going to betray. Him and and no, yeah. it was they were just waiting on the outside. Yeah. Right? <laughs> he was just like I'm, just, and he like did the cool like I'm just gonna stand still until it's completely open. Right? It's like, and I like, guess I guess she thought uh, that the surprise of it, she could run out, blow it, and then yeah. everything's fine. But they get but uh, she had the Noah's gun. mom, and, and she's handgun trained somehow. Yeah. Well, they, like if she does come from a technologically oh, advanced yeah. enclave. I guess I'll buy it, and she's also. But you military. have access to the armor. You're taking a six shot gun mm -hmm. instead of a fucking fully auto Ri rifle. Like, well, yeah. if she was carrying around a rifle, well, they'd yeah. be like, "What the fuck?" At is least that get a, at least from? get a they Glock. Don't, they don't know what it is. Yeah, yeah. Nah, it's they, a stick. Come on, it's it's a, looks like at a least gun. get a better handgun with more yeah. than six shots. I, I guess, guess so, uh, but it did scare everybody in the place. She shot the general's second in command yeah. and all that. That guy was cool. Looking. I loved it. I went out there in a tank. I just yeah. I want to see Freya yeah. tank helmet yeah. on, doors <laughs> open, and he's and then Pro yeah. Proximo's out there. And oh like, shit, that would have been fucking beastly. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm saying. Just camp out in there a couple yeah. of months, go over the manuals, learn to fucking mm -hmm. drive that bitch, and mm -hmm. then uh, get a few more monkeys from Clan Eagle, yeah. Eagle Clan. Sneak in the air vent because there's no guards. <laughs> no gods there, and then roll out tanks, monkeys yeah. in tanks. Oh yeah. man, it would have been. And your so gas generator is good. <laughs> I made guess. a better film. It's like somehow the gas generator That'll still all worked, and the gas so is still good after. She's 3, like, I can't years. let all y'all have it. And Proxima is like, Oh, are there more of those. <laughs> I like that because, and I like the Proxima character. I like his voice. I like his voice yeah. actor. I like his mannerisms. Guys. What a wonderful day, yeah. you know. And yeah. I'm like, Man, I want to say that every morning because it sets your mood. <laughs> what a wonderful <laughs> day. Yeah. You know, uh, and the ideas of the previous Caesar have been twisted, and I wish they would have played th with that more. Obviously, you have the Caesar soldiers, the new Caesar, Proxima, and then you have the Eagle Clan, uh, who don't know nothing about Caesar, and then you have the orangutan, or the uh, yeah, the orangutan's faction, who is like, we are Caesar's children, and they're warping his teachings. But in the camp of Caesar's camp, they mention other clans. It would have been cool to see 
the other clans. Yeah. And then towards the end, it's like, Eagle Clan, follow me. But then also, you know, Eagle Bear, what a, everybody yeah. follow me. But they didn't Ch- do chips that. Chips with trained bears. <laughs> <laughs> That's nightmare bear fuel. Right. Trained bears. Druid bears. Uh, so, chips. yeah, so ba- uh, we kind of skipped to the end. But honestly, in the first and the second act, it's just character building. It's yeah. showing you the world, the peaceful apes that Noah is from. And then, uh, you know, they run into the forest and there's something following them around. It's a human. She had been killed, uh, like her party had yeah. been killed and she's hungry following him. And it seems like she can trust them. So I guess from watching from afar, she's like, these are the good apes. Those are the bad apes. I need this guy to help me. And eventually they, uh, when he's doing a rite of passage, gra- grabbing eggs and shit. Yeah. And then she fucks up and breaks one of his eggs. So he has to go deeper where they're not supposed to. The elders say, don't go that far. And he goes deeper, but then he sees uh, the Caesar's legion yeah. coming and killing everybody. And that's how these two forces clash. Um, and they kind of, like, rely on you kind of knowing, like, mm-hmm. Caesar's, like, whole... I, they did add uh, Raka and this yes. to so, kind of explain uh, he, that Caesar, yeah, but so it he, was, like, very... A very short explanation. Yeah. It kind of relied on you knowing from the previous new movies. Yeah. Well, um, I, I felt like it was, uh, well, I don't know. I, I, that's going to be per viewer, but I felt like the world was adequately explained. That yeah. Many generations ago, there was the Caesar. Uh, they explained the virus. Um, I think the Raka character was just awesome. He, yeah. uh, I, I grew attached to him. And, of course, the character that, that dies, that they try to play with your heartstrings, was Raka. Uh, they, eventually, they meet up, and then they go on this journey together. They befriend, uh, begrudgingly befriend the girl, and they're on this bridge, and the Caesar's forces, the gorilla is after this fucking girl, because Caesar knows that you know she's a part of this group. Eventually, uh, she falls into the water on the bridge, but the orangutan saves her and trades places with her. Now, here's the thing. I like this character a lot, and if he died in a different way, I would have felt emotion. Yeah. I probably would have felt, cried or whatever, felt yeah. emotion. But the way they did his death here, I didn't have an opportunity to really yeah. go at it. He was just and like, th- apes strong together. Yeah. Later. <laughs> and then he went on. But the way I looked at it is like, he might still be alive. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too, I, actually. They might come back at the end, and so I never really felt it yeah. you know, right yeah. then. But clearly, we were meant to be like, oh, he's dead. I, I genuinely, genuinely was like, oh, he's going to come back and have like a, like a here I am Hero moment. moment. Yeah. yeah, but he does not. He, I mean, maybe, maybe Sequels, he read yeah. one of the books. <laughs> Jesus, and <laughs> Jesus Resurrection is too on the nose yeah. for that kind of character. He's a three days later. M- yeah. Maybe one of the books he read, he, could, he learned how to swim. So uh, maybe they're saving it for a second and third film if this film does well enough. Uh, that could be a plot point there. Yeah, I mean, this is a big thing for me because there was supposed to be a lot of emotional moments for a lot of characters. And I just didn't really feel any of them. Yeah. And I mean, some of it's going to be that you know you're you are looking at a, a CG face. It's kind of like the first Lion King movie. Yeah. You watch the John Favreau Lion King. It's terrible. Yeah, it's like it's like did did you know the lions <laughs> can't emote with their face? And then like the chimps can. And there is some here. It's just I just. It's not enough, and so they needed to do more. They needed to set up these situations. I agree that they absolutely needed to set up and at least talk about the perversion of Caesar's uh, message. That is a super interesting thing that is, like, the, the entire basis for, if like... if you're watching this, yeah. you're like, why? why? Why did Caesar think that they could work together and this and yeah. that? And, like, well, tell me more about yeah. Caesar. Yeah. I don't understand. Yeah. Because so there's th- three whole movies about Caesar. Exactly. You know? So like, they present an interesting thing. And you're like, oh, cool. We're going to go into it. And they're like, no. <laughs> and anyway, so they went horseback riding through a baseball stadium. It's like, oh, that's cool. That's, I really love that we did that. They it's grassy everywhere. It Everything's is. overgrown. Grass everywhere. Uh, they didn't really... I wish they had played more they did set up a scene at the end of the movie where it's like can humans actually be trusted because yeah. Freya is not a good character yeah. I like this I like this that she had the gun too yeah. like at the felt, very end yeah. Freya's very hiding end. a gun what the fuck man yeah. this guy just helped you <laughs> well, sh- he, she also almost murdered his entire family by yeah. blowing the dam when he said don't do it so yeah. she didn't know she is very happen. selfish and one minded yeah. towards her group but then yeah. there could have been a whole it's interesting because there could have been a whole movie yeah. of Freya coming out and doing and then she would have been the hero of that story but we have the hero of this story yeah. the apes the Noah I think 
they did that interplay good where it's like a fellow protagonist is not necessarily a protagonist, yeah, maybe an antagonist sometimes and goes yeah, back and forth. Because even Noah called her out. He's like, y'all won't yeah. be happy until everything's ours. And she's like, it was ours in the beginning. It was it's ours. Like, yeah. And then there's a moment where like, the like fucking friction. informant guy uh, is like, I'm going to go tell, uh, see, you know, Proxima. And she's like, fuck it. Fred, shit! <laughs> no, the, the Ace She's are like, holy God shit. damn, woman! It's just like, it's so cold. Yeah. She's your son. She's like, rear naked, and I, choke hold his ass. And she had been nice and, Ooh, yeah. I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, oh, fuck, maybe we did ally with the wrong person. And so, and he's like, hey, can humans and apes live together? Nope. She gives an honest answer, and I love this moment. So, and this is kind of what endeared me to his character. I didn't really like her too much, but towards the end, it's like, or at least she's honest. She's like, I don't know. And that's left ambiguous. Yeah. And then, uh, of course, they want to do two more films. I got to go. Uh -oh. Thank you guys so yeah. much. Uh, anything else super important? I think we actually covered it all. Uh, yeah, the Eagles at the end was oh. like, look, it's, it's <laughs> like the whole fucking Lord. How is the boss killed, Alex? <laughs> uh, just like fucking Lord of the Rings. Yeah, the Eagles come out of nowhere. It's like we spent three hours on fucking horseback. It, although New Zealand is way more beautiful than anything they showed yeah, here. Yeah, it's way better. <laughs> <And> <laughs> the Eagles, they're not going to carry the, the, the heroes across. But the they still beat the guy. Yeah. They goes, bah! And all these Eagles that show up and yeah. they murder the big oh, bad guy. Wow, and then wow, wow. And then they fly away and... I wanted I wanted like Noah to get things. some hits in there and and be the one to push him or something. Yeah, but it was all the Eagles. Yeah, um, and he sings the song at the end because his father was an eagle herder and he sang songs and the Eagles always hated uh, Noah and scratched at him, but the Eagles respected Noah at the end and that came together and he sang the song and. It's sad that Raka never got to hear the song. Man, I thought Raka. that maybe by the end of the film he would because they're on horseback together and he's like, sing sing the song that you, you learned and your father taught you. And he's like, no, I, I won't. I'm not my father, blah, blah. And he's like, oh, it would, I would have enjoyed that. And I'm like, I would have too. I would for you see for Raka. So the thing is, like, this is, a, this is really honestly in my heart a five out of ten movie, but it gets two points because the voice acting is so, so good. good. Yeah. And there's so many times so where the good. actors are doing, like, killing it. And you're like, yeah. all right, I'll give you two points. Yeah. yeah. No, it Individual went, scenes are really high. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, I think I think that's it. Yeah, so all the eagles kill uh, that guy. How does the monkey die, the big gorilla? Uh, he's drowned. Yeah. He drives, yeah so there's a chase stuck. sequence in the base, and he's fighting. And because Noah is smaller, he's able to crawl out through some pipes. The gorilla gets stuck, and I'm like, man, that is fucking scary. You know, you're yeah. like fucking drowning. So got, even I, a big beastly guy can't do yeah. shit. Mm, it is. made me squirm a little. I was like, oh, this yeah, is well, being like stuck. But the humans built a base right on the beach that's lower than the sea level. <laughs> I was just about to say yeah, that, so I was like, wait a minute, with a big I don't door. understand. Stupid. With a no, huge door Alex, the, 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 the sea levels rose because of global warming, so th that's why uh, when you blow the the wall, then the sea happens. Well, you see. But we saw the docks. They're exactly the same, same they level. Because the original docks were there. They're actually true. sleeping on them. Yeah. So there's, I don't yeah. know what, how that <laughs> happened. Structure. Yeah. But again, this structure and this thing, they could have done some script doctoring to it. Like, have Freya as you said like press some buttons or something that opens the vent yeah. instead of them just being able yeah. to walk inside yeah all i know is i want rock in the next one May, I, I hope yeah, they I write hope him comes back yeah i hope he comes back all right we'll see if the movie makes enough money thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you on the next angry joe show bye guys